we will be having we are going to have a look on the pcb overview in order to do that we have to take off the rear cover of the device by unscrewing two screws and take off the cover and also it's advisable to take the down part so that it will be much more exposure yeah now we removed uh, entire board this is a main controller and this is a dc controller this is a primary high transfer voltage this is a, a power supply and these are the main motors so let's see how to access further just open the covers by removing some screws and uh, by opening this cover it will be easy for us to access the main controller this is a hard disk the hard disk is connected with a small cable so let's have a look closer look on the main controller the main controller carefully unplugs all the necessary harness and cables make sure whatever you remove it has to be refixed properly so take a snapshot before you do anything it's an advisable uh, point and uh, there are very fine cables so it has to be fixed very carefully so please handle with care especially those scanner cables the the locking mechanism is something different so just carefully have a look by any chance if the lock gets break the scanner cables would not be possible to properly have a sit on the on the connectors so just push the lock and release the lock and just pull gently that's how it's supposed to be so now we have removed almost all the connectors open the screws it's always advisable to uh, have a closer look when you have when you remove screws because once a screw drop into the machine it would be really challenging for us so better to have a concentration when we remove the screws so by removing few screws now after a couple of seconds we will have our main controller out so we removed all the screws and unplug the hard disk connectors and there are some more cables which are protected uh, by the lock release the lock and uh, take off all the connectors from hard disk to the main controller so remove all necessary connectors and uh, gently take out the main controller from the main body yes so now we have uh, the controller please keep it safe so let's have a look control this is a controller it has a small baby boards uh, so it has some of them control board this is called uh, serial number pcb and flash pcb and counter pcb now let's have a look on the dc controller so dc controller is the one which helping passing the voltage passing the necessary instructions to the components so let's have a look how to remove the dc controller so dc controller consists of many fine cables small small cables so gently unplug all so while removing please ensure the connectors is not broken so once all the connectors are removed uh, take off the screws there are a couple of screws which needs to be removed and this board in terms of size is smaller than 
the main controller okay now we have removed the board this is a DC controller board then let's have a look on the power supply this is a low voltage power supply which is a main power supply which uh, where the machine gets connected where the machine gets powered from the the wall socket so while when you when you access the power supply when you work on the power supply make sure the printer is turned off on the the cable as taken off from the sockets so it is always advisable to have uh, enough safety so there are some cable ties uh, gently take off all of and make sure you have removed your proper connectors from the proper place and just keep remember and these are some cooling fans to be taken off by releasing some locks so the moment you have taken all the connectors out there are two screws so that will help you to detach this power supply from the main body so you can easily take away the PCB and it can if it is required it has to be replaced as all whole parts that's all PCB overview